Hello, my name is Marcus de Soto. I am a mathematician, author of a new book called Around the World in 80 Games. One of my passions over the years has been collecting games wherever I go around the world because I think games give you an incredible insight into the people, the culture, uh, the place that I'm visiting. So this book gives me a chance to share some of my favourite games with readers. Now you may ask, why is a mathematician writing this book? Well, it's my belief that games are a way of playing mathematics. There's wonderful mathematics hiding under some of the games we love to play. And if you understand that maths, it might give you an edge. I'm in the amazing games section of Waterstones in Gower Street. I'm going to pick three of my favourite games for you. And the first one is actually a very ancient game, perhaps one of the oldest games in the world. It's Backgammon. In fact, this game originates from another game very close to here that you can find in the British Museum called the Royal Game of Or. I love this game because it's a mix of strategy and a little bit of luck. And I think that's an important combination for a really good game. Games are a little bit like stories, and I think that's why having a game section in Waterstones is perfect. Um, I'm going to choose one of the most modern games, which is uh, a game called Pandemic. Now, this is rather a special game because rather than playing each other, you all play collectively together against the game. So you either win or lose collectively. So this is great if actually you're playing with your partner and your partner kind of hates being competitive against you. You can play with your partner with this game against the game. My third game is a game which my kids love to play. It's really simple, it's called Double. This is a really amazing game because every two cards in this game, there's one symbol in common with both cards and you've got to spot which that symbol is. Now, how did they actually make this game? Well, there's an incredible bit of mathematics bubbling underneath here because actually when you're playing this game, you're exploring a projective plane of order seven. So every time you spot a symbol, that's actually a line through the two points represented by the cards. So this is an incredible piece of mathematics and a great game. I'm also going to recommend a book whilst I'm here in Waterstones, it seems uh, appropriate to also talk about books as well as games. It's in fact the last game, the 80th, uh, in my book. It's called The Glass Bead Game by Hermann Hesse. And this is a futuristic game. It's never quite clear how you play it, but it seems to be a game where you have to do a fusion of kind of art, music, history, mathematics, science. And when I read this book as a student, I realized this is the game I want to play. So I think my book, Around the World in 80 Games, is kind of a move in the glass bead game. 